hi guys welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make this uh jumpsuit so it has been requested several times so i'm going to since i'm not making it for myself i'm going to show you a detailed illustration on how to make it for yourself it's very easy guys this is not anything hard it's just shorts that is cut asymmetrical by the side added flay to it and then the top part is just a um, you can use a princess bodice you can just use a tube bodice um, sorry not princess a sweetheart bodice or a, a tube bodice and then you put the thing by the bust so i'm going to show you guys every step of the way how to do that so first thing we are going to do is to start through your line so try to have half an inch at the top guys you can draft this directly on your fabric i'm just drafting this on a pattern but you can draft it directly on your fabric so i mark half an inch for the seam allowance to join the body the shots to the body because one thing you don't want to do is if you don't add this half an inch then you go and take it away from the hip it will pull the pants up more and then it will drag into your crotch even more so try to have that half an inch that you're going to use to join the pant parts to the bodies right and then after that i marked her waist to her hip which is 10 and then i marked her waist to her crotch which is at um um, sorry, her waist to her hip, which is at 8, her waist to her crotch, which is at um, 10. So let me place my tape so you can see. So her hip is actually 40, so this person is not big. So 40, how you're going to get the crotch line is just divide your hip measurement by 4. Whatever you get is here. Let's say your hip is 48. If you divide it by 4, that means your crotch is going to be at 12. You understand? For a bigger person. And then 3 inches below your crotch line is, is almost always your tie line so that's why we stopped at tie line here so this tie line is where the length of this pant is going to stop so that's why we have these three lines waist to hip waist to crotch and waist to tie so now the next thing is to take her hip measurement divide it by four and mark it on this line but i'm going to add one inch to it so i'm going to do her hip measurement divided by four which is 10 add one inch to it that's going to be 11 i'm going to mark it here transfer it also here and then bring it up to this point also or to this point also and then i'm going to use a straight line to connect the three lines together once that is done the next thing you're going to do is just to come up to this crotch line that hip measurement divided by four that you got or this particular measurement that you have here from this end to this end divided by four again so whatever you have here divided by four so for me that's going to be almost um three inches or 2.75 so i'm going to just go ahead and mark it right so i'm going to go ahead and mark it so that's basically my crotch and then you're going to give it a curve once this is done guys the next thing you're going to do is just to come up here by the waist divide her waist measurement by four so the waist i'm working with is actually 28 so divided by four is going to give me about um 7.5 or so so I'm going to go ahead and mark that and then add two inches, one inch of sewing and one inch of um, that. And then connect it from the waist here to the hip. And then now we are going to go ahead and add our dart. So to, so to add the dart, you just need to put the nipple to nipple divided by two plus half an inch and then bring it down. Two inches before the hip line and then you're going to connect half an inch on this side and half an inch on this side. So guys, this is basically your dart for the pants. All you have to do next now is just to divide your tie measurement by two. Whatever your tie measurement is, divide it by two. Add it here. And then add one inch of one inch that we added in every other thing. And then connect the two together. It might be straight, it might be curved in, depending on how big your tie is. Go ahead and cut this out. So this is going to be my front body. You see, this is ready. So I'm going to go ahead and cut. You see, I've, ma I've cut it out. All I cut out is just from here to here down and then the length of the pan. And then I'm also going to cut out this excess from the waist. And that this is basically our shorts. Because remember, it's supposed to be fitted on you. So guys, um, you see, I, I marked half an inch first and then added two inches in between. Guys, it depends. You can Another way to do it is take what you have here by the crotch and put it at the top here. Or you can just do, if you're more on the smaller size, you can do 2.5, 2, 2 inches. And then a bigger person might do 3 inches. I'm going to do, depend, it just depends on how big your, your butt is most times, right? So now the next thing, because this is to pull up the back part of the pants. So now the next thing I'm going to do is to 
um, mark where the beginning of this pant is, which is on this line here, where the beginning of my front panel is. And another thing you'll notice is that I tucked away this half an inch here because I want to use this to trace my back panel. So I tucked away that half an inch at the top. I folded it away. And then it started, everything now starts on this line. But you see, this back panel also has its own half an inch here. So now from that point, I'm going to come in by two inches. From the point of the end of this year, I came in two inches. And then that two inches, I added it back at the end here. I came in two inches on that line from the beginning of the front panel, came in two inches. And then from the end of the panel, I came out two inches. So now what I'm going to do is on that two inches, I came in by which is here. I'm going to just rule a straight line to the top. And once you do that, now the next thing you're going to do is to measure what you have here, which for me, from this point to this point is 9.5. You will see that you can fit in that 9.5 to the waist here. Try and see if you can fit it from that point here to the end, like to the in form of an angle, So, which is like this for me. So I'm going to take my ruler. As you can see, I'm not adding in this half an inch at the top. I'm starting after the half an inch. So I'm going to take my ruler and blend it into this curve here. Now, so what I'm going to do is to rule half an inch at the top, following the same angle that it is in now, just to help me get that my seam allowance back. But angle, I'm going to just tilt it this way, which is exactly what I need. Right, just half an inch at the top of it. This will be to join the back panel to the waist of the back panel, you understand? So now that this is done, the next thing I have to do is just to go from this point here and I'm going to add one inch. As you can see, I left one inch to the end here. There's one inch distance from the beginning of my front panel to, the, to where the extension of my paper for the back panel is. So all I have to do is just to blend it in. And the next thing we are going to do is to extend the crotch at the back. So pull this forward this way. You can do two inches for the back part, crotch. All you're going to do now is just from that two inches here, you're going to just draft your back, your crotch. So you're going to start from here. You're going to start from here now, all the way to the back. And then you're going to draft it this way and then get it to join, get it to join this straight line, you see? Just get it to join this line here. So that's basically it for your pant. All you have to do now is just to also take this part here and then I'm going to curve it in. So this is the length of my pant here. I'm going to curve this. Just give it a curve like that, right? The same extension I have here, maybe just do the two inches and bring it down back here. So that's basically all, all you need for your pants. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this back panel out. So guys, this is it here. You see all the changes you made for the back. We extended the, the upper part here. We extended the crotch by two inches and then we have one inch by the side. Wondering what is this at the back? So this is just the zipper because remember the back, there's a zip there. So this is just after that straight line I had here, I just extended it by 1.5 inch distance at the center back here. This is going to help me to form my zip, depending on how long your zip will go down. Mine is about, about up to where the hip is. That's where the zip at the back will go down. But it depends on the length of zip you're working with, right? So you can bring it down further, you can. So this is basically what you're working with. So now the, the pant is done, right? All you have to do is trace two of this, trace two of this. You understand trace two patterns of this now i can bring out this half an inch at the top trace two patterns of this and two patterns of this and then so guys what i have here is for the upper part of her body so you see i marked half an inch up here and then i marked her shoulder to her nipple at 10 sorry at 11 her shoulder to her under bust at 14 and then her shoulder to her waist at um Sorry, I should have to her waist at 16. So basically, you're going to place your tape at where you want the top to start. So for me, her top is starting at 6.5, right? The body is starting at 6.5. Then I came down to her nipple line at 11. I should have to her under bust at 14. And then I should have to her waist at 16. Like I said, this is not a big person. So now the next thing you're going to do is from the edge here. Guys, like I said, you can drop this particular part on the fabric too. So you're going to come up to the top part here and divide her nipple by... So guys, what I'm going to do now is her nipple to nipple divided by two plus half an inch, mark it here, and then bring it up here also. 
So her nipple to nipple is 8 divided by 2 is 4 plus half an inch is 4.5. I also marked that 4.5 here. That's from the end to here, from the end to here. And then remember this, if you're folding, doing it on your fabric, it's going to be on a fold. And this is going to be the center where the fold is. And then from the, on this under bust line, you're going to remove that half an inch and just mark the 4 inches. That's her nipple to nipple divided by 2. And then I'm also going to mark the same thing here. So now I'm going to connect these two that are the same. And then also connect then the next thing i'm going to do is to mark on this line here i'm going to go go ahead and do um one inch on the outer part and then half an inch on the inner part right mark half an inch on the inner part and then on this under bust line i'm going to come in here depending on 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 the person's size you can do 1.5 i'm not really making it a bust here right but i just wanted to have some like to have a cup to fit in her bust so i'm doing 1.5 here and then i'm also doing 1.5 here so what i'm going to do is to connect the two together this way and then on this line i'm going to come down one inch before this line and one inch above this line so one inch above on below the nipple line and one inch above the nipple line and then what i'm going to do is just to go ahead now and then i'm going to take my curve ruler and connect from this curve part here to this part to give me my my cup and then after that i'm going to connect this one inch on the outer part to this one inch of this line here and then also connect this to this point here So guys, after that, the next thing I did is to place back my tape the way it was at 6.5, right? Then I, 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 I put in her armhole. So you're going to divide her armhole by 2 and add it here. On this line now, you're going to put her bust measurement divided by 4. So like I said, her bust is 40 divided by 4 is 10. Take this measurement that you have in between here on that line, where the measurement is on that line. So for me, it's going to be 0 0.75. So you're going to add back that 0 0.75. And then you're also going to add two inches of sewing or if, depending on you you can do 1.5 inches of seam allowance then come to the waistline divide her waist by four which for me is going to be 7.5 and then take what you have here which is 1.5 put it back and then i'm going to add two inches of sewing or 1.5 inches of sewing depending on you and then after that you're just going to go ahead and connect so you're going to connect from here and then the rest is my body of the clothes so once this is done i'm just off right so connect from this leg of the dart on this side and then to this point and then for the bust part you're, for this part here you're going to leave it the way it is you see every other thing will be left the way they are so now all we have to do is to go ahead and cut to rule one inch here because uh, i want to also draw the back panel for you guys so i just ruled in this line extended all my lines and then added my zipper allowance here so just one inch for the zipper allowance so guys if this is going to confuse you guys i can just cut it off now that you know that this all the lines i have here are just extension of the line from this side so this is where my back panel starts right so now all i have to do for the back is just to go ahead and um insert um so my back panel is going to start on this armhole line so let me pull it together again you'll see so my back panel is starting at the armhole line because the back is supposed to drop a little remember the back doesn't start the same place at the top because it has a spaghetti strap so all i'm going to do now is after this zip allowance i'm going to just add her bust measurement divided by four which is 10 plus two inches of sewing come down to her waist her waist measurement divided by four which is um um 7.5 plus three inches this time because i need one inch of back dating because the dart at the back is just a basic dart it's not a bust here so plus three inches which is here right one inch of dating and two inches of side seam allowance so now i'm going to just go ahead and rule that here this line here and do the nipple divided by two mark it here bring it up to the top part nipple divided by two which is going to be four and then i'm going to just go ahead and rule a straight line down and then you can do half an inch on this side and then half an inch on this side so this is basically our back panel so if you're going to cut your back now all you have to do is just to go ahead and just start cutting so you're going to cut from this point now
so guys this is basically what we are working with after you cut off everything also don't forget to cut off the excess on this other side too so basically this is what we took out this for the front you took out this this side you took out this one by the center and then you took out this and the one at the top here that's all we cut out and this is what we are working with so guys if this was on a fabric i've done this several times on my channel let's say i was cutting this on a fabric what i would have done is just to go ahead and fold my fabric into two and give it my boss divided by four plus extra four inches that's what you need to draft this directly on your fabric if i'm drafting this on my fabric now i won't be adding it any seam allowance even on the side even at the top anywhere i'm just cutting exactly what this paper looks like you have to do to help the zip relax better is to go up here by one inch so i'm going to start with the bottom part of this zipper allowance here and go up by one inch here which will be somewhere here all i have to do now is just to go ahead now and blend it into the side like half an inch for this allowance here so now i'm going to go ahead and cut this this reduction at the back at the center back will help the zip not to bulge at top of your butt right because remember the back panel now the all the back panels are this and this so you're cutting two pieces of this one for each side of the back this is the back panel you see why we added this zipper allowance because we need this zipper allowance here you see and remember once you take away your dart here and take away the darts by the the, the um, hip you see it's the same measurement here it's the same as the as the back so this is all your back made pattern coming down this way I'm going to come in here by that same four inches in in this line here and then maybe four inches length for the um the darts mark half an inch on this side and also half an inch on this side you you will find that once i fold it away the two the waist of the two of them are exactly almost exactly the same you see so now that this is done you also have the front panel once you take away your dart and pick these two these two will be the same you're cutting two pieces of this two pieces of this two pieces of this and um two pieces of this one too but this one here is going to be on a fold this is if you're actually tracing it on a pattern paper so now let me cut it on a fabric and show you guys how you're going to cut off the hip part so guys like i said you have two of these one of these and two of these and four two for the front two for the back for the pant so guys basically this is what it looks like you see exactly what this is so i'm going to put one on this side one on this side and then have this one by the center you see so i'm going to take it now join this side together and then this is my back panel here this is the back panel and then i'm also going to take the pants do the same thing i'm going to join the crotch in front join the crotch in front which is the front panel crotch. so you're going to take the crotch and join it join it by the center here join it that is, i'm just trying to demonstrate what it is join it by the center here and then you see for the back you're going to take it and join it close up close up some part of it leaving this zipper part open so you're going to close up at least from this point and then close up here that is from here this way and then i'll bring it back once i do that i'm also going to close up the side so that you guys will see so guys um now you see i've gone ahead and joined mine guys just imagine this as the smaller version you see where the bust would have been you see the short part so all you have to do now just know that you're going to use lining to turn this over and insert your strap in between the lining so you're going to cut a lining that looks exactly like this this is before you attach it to the body is what i'm saying you put in the strap put in the lining so close the upper part and then the lining will come out in between right so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to just fold it this i'm going to do is from where the waist is which is here you can do come down five inches from there and then cut it and then like come down five inches from the the hip and then blend it into the side this way to get that asymmetric um look from it so now at this point you can just take your scissors and then cut this off before you now go in to add the ruffle right so this is what it would look like this way and then you put in the gather thing down here if you want you can also cut it before you you join the fabric so how you're going to do that is before you even cut what you're going to do come down five inches from the hip or measure on your hip where you want the gather part to start that's before you even cut on the fabric C measure what you want remember to leave at least one inch for the at the center part for your seam allowance and then you measure from here let's say it's at this point here what you're going to do is at that point of your seam allowance is where you're going to stop you cut you mark it 
do the same thing for the back you need to make sure that it's at the same point one doesn't have to be longer than the other so you use the front again and measure out where it will be on the back which is somewhere here for me and then you're going to take this one again mark out the one inch for the seam allowance of the crotch and then now what you're going to do is just to blend these two sides in again you see so now you're going to cut off here so now you you have it on your pattern you're going to cut off here you can also go ahead and cut this off that's basically the method of doing this so now this is what you're tracing as your pant two of this and two of this or if you don't want to use this method you can cut it out after you're done you understand you can cut it after you're done so now for the get that thing how you're going to join it is you're going to just cut a rectangular fabric right the opening is going to be what you can do two of this two whatever opening you have here you can measure round use your tape and start from one end and measure to the other end you can use two of that will be too big so i would say 1.5 of that because the center part of it will not have any gather from your that from your that inwards will not have any gather the gather is just on the hip part the gather is just on this point here to the other the back where the dart is you understand you will see the video right now so you'll see what i'm saying so this other part here is still going to be straight but from the center where this once your dart where this your dart comes in to the back where the dart stops again you is where you're going to fit in all that together so the rest of the cloth to be um, um okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut a fabric so you're going to measure from here to the length of your pants so that five inches that you took away measure it plus your extra seam allowance 1.5 of seam allowance that's how you're going to calculate the length you're going to need for the fabric you understand so guys let's say this is my rectangular fabric how i'm going to calculate the length is from the point here of the shortest part this is it because if i use this part to measure it then it will hang but you need to go with the uppermost part of the pant to measure the length so you're going to start from here and measure how many more inches you need to the end of the pant whatever that is you're going to add 1.5 to it one inch of folding it and half an inch of joining it to the body right so that once you take it now you're going to notch you make sure that the pant fits the hip measurement everything fits right you're going to take notch the center part of this pant here and put it here right and then you can gather the parts gather it gather it on this side get to this point and stop gathering it and then join it to the seam allowance here and close it and sew the rest of it straight so my get so guys it depends on you which side you want if you want you can also start from here and place the center part of this pant in between like this notch find halfway through the, the pant like i said what you're going to cut as the width is basically the, this opening from this end to this end times 1.5 that's going to be the width i've already told you what the length is going to be this point to the end of the pant plus 1.5 of seam allowance so what you're going to do your pants will not be equal so that once you've sewn that in you just fold your pants into two this way and then cut off the excess using the measure from your shoulder to the length you want and then cut off every excess that is remaining and fold the length of your pants you understand because now one side is going to be going up this way one side is going to be lower so then you can cut it off so that's basically how you're going to do this for the two legs of the pants putting your strap putting the zip at the back and then you can do the flounce so for the flounce what you will need is just your nipple to nipple measurement right from one point of the nipple to the second side of the nipple and then you're going to measure whatever you have most times it's going to be eight for some people so you're going to use that one side like this and then you're going to calculate the nipple to nipple divided by two whatever you have for me it's going to be four for one side four for the other side what i'm going to do is i'm going to use that four to trace out the circle on one side and then use the other one to trace out the circle on the other side you understand so that will be four inches from here four inches distance like this you understand four inches this way and then make a circle out of it whatever you make you now use it to, to like in front of your dress this way like somewhere here on front of your dress so to determine where you want it to be you have to measure like the width so from that point you're going to measure the distance maybe you want it four inches away so you know that you're going to need four inches circle if you want it like five inches away then you know you're going to measure so you're going to measure from the center point of that and then figure out the distance you will need and then measure that distance all the way around so how you're going to cut it on a circle is so you're going to take your fabric 
fold it into two and then you're going to fold it again right so just like how we normally cut a circle and then you're going to fold it so whatever you decided to use so let's say you decided so when you measured from that part of your sleeve where you want it to be you measured like three so you're going to take that three place it this way and then you're going to place it this way but i'm going to add okay so three is what i'm going to be using so you're going to take this your a mark about three inches all the way so from this edge you're going to mark three inches all the way so guys now after that you're going to add about half an inch at the end here because you're going to be folding this so this half an inch is for your seam allowance it depends on you you can even go ahead but for the purpose of this i'm using like three inches you can make like five inches six inches whatever you need to you just need to check and know the distance that you need so let's say this is what i'm using so i'm going to go ahead and cut this out now so guys just like that i have my i have i've cut this out and you're going to go ahead and mark so that you know the center so i've marked this point here i marked my chalk on this point just to know my center and then i'm going to just notch all the edges so i notch this point and then i'm also going to notch this point and then when i open it up you will find that this is now my circle so whatever you measured so you see this here if i place it here all my flower will be right on this point if i place it right on this part of my sleeve it will be right on this top but this half an inch here is just for us to be able to fold the edges of this here because like this one this circle that we marked is going to serve like the plate that is holding the flower if that makes sense so this here now you're going to use half an inch to join the edges so the way we marked it now you're going to use half an inch but you will leave about one inch room so you're going to go ahead close this all the way with the half an inch seam allowance you left but you're going to leave like about one inch room to flip everything inside out so guys this is it here in case i didn't mention you're supposed to cut two of this here and then you're going to sew it round so now just notch all the edges and flip it inside out so guys this is this is the second so now we have the I'm going to call it like a plate for the what we are going to do now so what we need next is the fabric that we are going to use so what we are, what i'm going to do is this is what I'm, i'll be using this fabric here so what you have to do is to just go ahead and measure the weight you want so that you know that okay if i fold it this is what i'm going to have because remember when you fold it you're still going to use half an inch to join it here so for me what i have here is about um i have about five inches here so when i fold it i'm going to use half an inch to join it and then i'll be left with two inches so it depends on you what you want to use so now that i have this i'm going to join it because it depends on the length you're working with so i'm going to join mine and then close up the two ends so guys you see what i was saying just fold it and close up the two ends and then flip it inside out so you see i've done mine so i'm going to flip out the two ends and then you iron it on a fold so iron it down this way and then you go ahead go to your sewing machine and you start pleating it you just start pleating it this way so you're going to just keep pleating it just pull it one and then sew it down pull it again sew it down pull it again sew it down there are two methods of making this they have the pleats they have the flounce but flounce takes more fabric so it depends on you which method you want to use so i'm going to show you guys how to do the pleating method in this video so you're going to just keep pleating it this way and keep sewing i've, I've finished pleating this what i have to do now is just to mark out the parts where i want to place this so you can start if you feel like you can do it without marking it that's okay you don't have to mark it but like if you're a beginner and you feel like you need to trace out uh, then do that so you trace it from there you enter into an, another line just like just something circle like this and then from there you you go into the next one go into the next one go into the next one going to the next one until you get to the center you see so that's what you're going to trace out here so you see that's what i'm trying to, to show you guys so you're going to start from one end and then you're just going to go all the way around until you get to the center so you see if you feel like you don't want to pleat yours that you can just go ahead and start from somewhere and you not make mistake then do that but I, I just for the sake of the beginners then just pleat yours and then you're going to start uh, you start putting this in here 
So you're going to sew it down. Try to make the pleat to come together. This is just for the purpose of the video. That's why I spread mine apart. But you're supposed to make it come together so that it can be able to stand. Because if you leave it, like, if you use a little pleat all the way, it won't stand. It will just spread out this way. But try to make your pleat come together a little bit more. That way you can be able to help it stand. So I'm going to go ahead and sew mine all the way until I get to the center. See, this is mine here. This is it. So you see, but I, I know you might be thinking mine is too open, like the distance in between, because you can see the stitch. But that's why you have to make your own up close. But just because this is a sample that I'm trying to show you guys, so this is what it looks like. And then if you look at the back, so you're going to keep going all the way to get to the center. So if you see the back, this is the back here. So you're supposed to use the same fabric as the pattern for this here. And then how you're going to attach it to your clothes is just this end here. So you're going to just take it and sew it down to your clothes. So wherever you want to attach it is where you're going to just take this here, sew it all the way around down to that part. So that's basically it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.